And the average number of daily COVID-19 cases on the 4th of July, look at this, was under 12,500. Two months later, they've jumped to more than 160,000. That's an increase of more than 1,000%. Health experts worry that this Labor Day weekend travel and all these get-togethers we're attending may add to the surge. And on this Labor Day, federal jobless benefits for millions of Americans are coming to an end. That means no more extra $300 a week for being unemployed. Our Rebecca Schramm live in downtown Atlanta. Rebecca, Georgians already lost that federal supplement a few months ago, but uh, a lot of folks all over the country are going to feel this. Yeah, absolutely, Karen. And you know what? Uh, economists say Georgia is continuing to recover pretty well. According to the folks here at the Georgia Department of Labor, the unemployment rate is just 0.2 percentage points from where it was before the pandemic here in Georgia. But there's new uncertainty nationwide as confirmed COVID cases approach their highest numbers ever. In this business, you're always hiring. Though some sectors of the economy are booming again, restaurants and bars nationwide actually lost 42,000 jobs. Some employers hope that today's end to the federal $300 a week boost in unemployment benefits will change that. After uh, the unemployment uh, support is going to dwindle, well, some are going to readjust their, uh, what their income is, what their needs, and they may come out. Georgia ended the federal supplement in June, with politicians saying it was deterring people from seeking work. Since then, Georgia's unemployment rate has had its sharpest drop since March, and some parts of the state's economy now have more jobs than they had before the pandemic. But with COVID-19 continuing its resurgence, some worry about what the future brings nationwide. The idea of being close to hundreds of strangers a day, even while being vaccinated, that's not something that appeals to me in any way. Now, vaccinations are still on the rise here in Georgia. We are now at 44% of the eligible population fully vaccinated. That's still under the national average, though. We're live in Atlanta this morning. Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News.